and a giant Tesla battery caught fire recently, and the blaze took several days to get under control. Although the fire was in Australia, the risk with the technology could be closer to home. And it is Patrick Hayden reports. A giant Tesla battery facility fire in Australia took four days to put out. 150 firefighters with 30 fire trucks were needed to contain the blaze. A process known as thermal runaway within battery cells is the cause of these fires. The problem is that us academics are still arguing over precisely what causes thermal runaway, what reaction or reactions trigger thermal runaway. These types of giant batteries are known as megapacks. The fire erupted during testing in a shipping container that held a 13-ton lithium-ion battery. It then spread to a second battery pack. And it's very difficult to stop a cell in thermal runaway. And what can then happen is that the heat is propagated to an adjacent cell and so on and so forth. The plant is owned and operated by French company Neon. It's one of the biggest lithium-ion battery storage facilities in the world. Christensen says because the technology is new, we still don't know the risks. He says there have been 38 large lithium battery fires since 2018. When we first started using petrol and diesel in internal combustion engines, we must, uh, the average person on the street was carrying around petrol and diesel and pouring it into their cars without really knowing what the hazards and risks were. And it's just that we're on a very steep learning curve at the moment. But I truly and honestly believe that we, we will get there. One battery expert says there are challenges in putting out these types of fires. And so that means that they can actually be quite unpredictable. So um, we've seen this also with lithium-ion battery fires on, on um, electric vehicles. The Australian Battery Project has 210 megapacks that are capable of storing up to 450 mega hours of energy for the grid. Harper says this type of risk is also closer to home. See, I think what's of a little bit more concern is where people are having home energy storage systems. So the similar technology to what we've seen in Australia, but on a much smaller version in people's homes. Harper says there should be a focus on regulation for these home storage units. The market for industrial energy storage facilities is set to grow 27 times by the end of the decade. Patrick Hayden, NTD News.